everyone. It's Kathy Koliakovo with PepperitMarketing.com and host of the Marketing Your Private Practice with Kathy C podcast. So today I'm going to walk you through the steps that I talked about and shared in episode 74 of the podcast, which is all about making reels fast and easy. I shared a five-step framework and I promised that I would do a follow-along video on how to make this happen. So I've got everything set up here in my office to show you my screen on my phone as I do all of these five steps that I talked about as part of the podcast. So just as a recap for you, to get to this point where I'm going to put it all together, there are probably gonna be pieces of it that I would do um, at different times, okay? So first step is we wanna have and decide on the message being conveyed in the video. So I'm going to be doing the reel. I've actually pulled the content for that reel right out of my lesson from the podcast this week. So I have it ready. I know what I want to say. And I've literally copied and pasted um, the caption that I want to go with that. And I've decided what kind of message I want to say as part of the video. And in that particular reel, I'm just really going to be talking about how you can make reels a reality for your marketing. So I've got that ready to go. I have that thought about. I've created, which is step two, the social media caption, and I have it all ready to go. I've got the emojis there. I've got the calls to action, the hashtags, and it is literally ready to copy and paste for me to use when I want to post the reel live. Okay, then I've got a script and I always talk about my post-it note scripts. This is my script. I have it on a post-it note. It is here and it's ready to go on my phone, which is what I'm going to do with it when I go to hit record. Um, I do that for a couple of reasons. I do it to have the notes there so that I know what I'm doing. It's simple. It's easy. I don't have to try and download a prompter or anything like that to go over the screen. Um, also, what I find it does for me, um, just to sort of explain it, when I have it on the phone like that, it tends to keep my eyes looking at the camera, which I feel makes me feel like I'm actually looking better at the camera when I do videos in that way. So that is the third step is sort of getting it all ready and getting your script, which is my post-it note, all ready to go. And again, I typically pull the script from the article, from the lesson that I'm sharing that week. If you're doing a newsletter and a blog, you'd pull it from that one. Then I'm going to film the video. So at this stage, step one, two, and three, I typically do in a block of time when I'm prepping the content. So that could have been two, three weeks ago. Okay. Then when you're ready, you want to film the video. And I like to keep these under 60 seconds so that you can use them in as many places as possible. Once you go over 60, they're more of a challenge to use as an Instagram story. You can't use them as a YouTube short. So there's things like that. I, I just like to keep them at 60 seconds for that reason. Then once you film the video, you can post the video. Now, posting the video involves a few things on its own. You need to do the video. You have to get it ready to go and get posted on Instagram or Facebook for the reel. You want to prepare the cover image, your call to action. You want to add the subtitles or captions that it can auto put on there um, so that if people are watching without sound, which more than 80% of the people do, um, that they can still see the words that you're saying in the video. And then you want to have that social media caption ready to copy and paste and use. And then the last step is editing the profile image before you hit the post button. So at this stage, we're at the fifth step, and that's the last thing you do. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to go through all of this so that you can see it happening in action and follow along with what I do. Again, some of it I might have done ahead of time. I'm not doing it all like today in this moment. So in my case, I've got steps one, two, and three are all done and ready to go. And I'm going to film the video. So that's where we're going to go now. I'm going to move things around here and I'm going to get it ready to film. So I'm bear with me as I screen share my phone so that I can do this for you so that you can see it all. And let's just get this all set up here. All right. So once I get this phone up here, you're going to start seeing my phone on the screen and I'm going to show you how I do this now. Step one, two, and three is all about having the captions ready, the words, the information ready. 
One of the things that I do is I create all of that in Google Docs. And I create every episode I have for my podcast. So if you do a newsletter, every newsletter article you do, I actually keep one solid document with, I call it my show notes newsletter document. And it's actually, I have the information going on my blog, the information going in my newsletter. I have the information going for social media as well. So it's all in the one document and I have it there. So I will typically have that ready to go in my Google Docs. And you can see here, this is my um, information. So this is the reel for the sample of the talking head video, because that's what we're going to make here. I've got my cover headline because I'm going to need that when I want to post. So I type it in here so I don't have to use my phone and type things out. I can literally copy and paste. Then I've got the call to action that I want to put at the end of the reel as well. So again, it's there. So I do not have to do anything but copy and paste. Then I've got the script, the caption here. Um, literally, my script is my caption typically. Um, this is all set, ready to go. You can see it's got the emoji there. I've got the hashtags that I want to use. It's all ready to go so that I can just copy and paste as I do this. But first thing that I'm going to do is record the video. So what I'm going to do, and I have no idea how this is going to work once I start hitting my camera, if this is still going to show everything here, but we will test it out. So I've got this ready um, just to show you how I do this. I don't know if this is a helpful thing or not. Um, let me go backwards here. So I have a ring light I'm not using, as you can see, but my ring light came with this stand and I like it because it comes at a perfect height for me for um, putting it on. So I literally will put my phone into it. I'm going to snap it into it and I'm going to put it on selfie mode. So I have it here. I'm sitting in my chair. Sometimes I might turn things around. Oh, we got something hanging down off my ring light here. Hold on. Sometimes I might turn things around so you see a different background here. I want to do these fast and easy. So I don't, I literally don't worry about trying to get into different places. If this is where I can be for the day to record the video, this is what I'm going to do. So I take my script. I put it up here on the phone. Um, I usually have to, okay, I've messed with this one a lot. I might have to push a little harder to get it on there. And I do use my camera only for this. Um, you can record right in your Instagram. I don't record in there because I typically want to have these done. Sometimes I'm going to do Facebook ads for them. And if you've used any kind of effect, um, which I tend to want to use when I use Instagram. I want to put like a little glow effect on or something. So I tend not to use that. Um, I just stick it in, use my video, keep it real, keep it simple, and don't worry about anything else. So what I'm going to do now is record my 60 second or under 60 second reel. Hopefully we'll get this in one take today and we can get that ready and then we'll go into the next step. So bear with me as I create the reel that I'm going to be putting out there. All right, here we go. Oh, another thing that I do, I typically have it ready to go. Um, normally, I have to tell you too, I would normally have my um, mic on. But in order to screen share, I can't plug the mic into the, my phone, but I typically do record my um, reels with a little lapel mic on in order to get a better sound out of it. So this one's not going to sound as great as some of them, but it was the only way I could screen share because I only got one little spot to plug in on the phone. All right. So here we go. We're going to do this reel now. Do you ever wonder if reels can be your reality when it comes to marketing for your practice or your business? Well, today in the podcast, I'm sharing a framework that I use to make it simple and easy to put out reels. No editing, no cuts, no splicing. Really, it's just all about record your video and get it posted out there, keeping it as simple as possible. I do not like to use my phone and do editing and all of that, and I don't want to spend a ton of time doing that. So this five-step framework that I'm sharing on my podcast today will help you keep things simple so that you can be consistent putting out video content out there. Be sure to check out episode 74, listen into the five-step framework. 
And you'll also want to look, watch on my Instagram for a follow along video that I'm doing and creating to show you how to do all of those five steps. Again, hit that episode number 74 from the link in my bio. All right, that's it. There's my video. You can tell I had a couple mess ups in there. I don't care. I really don't care. I am not going to go and re-edit that because that is me in real life. So I am, I'm not going to go back and try to redo it. I will say that sometimes if I really mess things up, um, if I have some steps, you know, step one, step two, whatever it might be, I may go and do a retake, but I try to avoid that. The more you practice this, the more comfortable you will get on doing it in a one take. And because I kept it at 60 seconds, I don't want to edit anything out on the end at the beginning because I started with sort of a smile at the beginning when I started that way. That gives me a really good um, front cover image. So I don't have to worry about editing that as well. I'm trying to make this as simple as possible. And that's the way to do it. So my post-it note is done now. So I've got the video. I've got it there. So now I'm going to have to use my phone here. So now oh, I hit edit on there. We're going to go into Instagram and we're going to get set to create and put up the post. Again, this could be something that you come and do another time. I've got the video there. I typically will record a couple of them at a time. Um, some days I do, some days I don't. Well, some weeks, because I typically do two of these a week. That's all I put out there. Um, so this system helps me be consistent doing two of these every week. And I'll admit some weeks when it gets busy, if I didn't make the two ahead of time, I don't necessarily get two out there. Um, but I don't kill myself over it either, uh, because it's, it is life and the content that you can do if you've got other content out there going consistently, that's what you wanna be looking for. So if you can make this happen at least once a week following the system, that's where I would tell you to start with. Once every two weeks, if that works for you, do that. Just really don't give yourself a hard time about this. It is gonna take practice though. I will say that I did a, a course and a challenge where I did one of these every day for three weeks. And it did help me get more comfortable to get to this level. So now we're going to move on. We've got the video filmed and I have everything ready here. So on my phone, I'm going to go to Instagram and I'm going to start off by hitting the button up in the top right, the plus symbol. And I am going to create a reel. So from here, I'm going to grab, you can see my other videos. I'm going to grab the video that I just recorded, which is one minute long. I'm not going to change anything here. I'm just going to hit the next button, get it ready. And <laughs> let me turn my volume down here on the computer. So at this point, what I typically do is hit the little um, smiley face button up on the top. I'm just going to call it what it is. And I hit the captions. So I'm going to have it generate the captions here. Um, the reason that I do this, again, like I said, probably 80% of the world watches videos without sound. So you want to have captions there. A trick to captions, I typically hit the color. I usually hit the black and white one as the color. And then up on the right, you have a circle with an A and a square with an A. I got to watch my screen here so I can see this. So you've got the circle with the A and the square with the A. If you hit the square, it will put the white on the background. If you hit it again, it'll put the black. If you hit it again, it will put nothing. I usually put the white so that it can stand out a little bit. And I can see from the information that I've got a couple words in there. Um, I'll be honest, if I say my name, my name never gets done in captions. I always have to go and edit the caption. So at this point, I click on the caption. I just literally touch my finger on it. And it will come up with the words that if you want to change them and edit them, you can. You just scroll through. I typically have to scroll through and find my name and do the name properly. So whatever you go through and edit or adjust, you can go in there. Um, I don't really see any big edits that I would have to make here. Um, 74, I probably would actually um, just make that a number 74. So once you make an edit here, see on the bottom right, the blue done symbol, you have to hit that. That is not saved till you hit the done up on the top right. So if there's anything more, 
Um, so that want to, I'll probably change that to want to, and I hit done. So it captures it. And that is it. So now I'm going to hit the done up in the top right. And the reels are there over my face. So what I typically do here is I grab it with two fingers, squeeze it in to shrink it a little. And I typically move it up onto the top left or the top right. I don't go over where you can see the yellow. This line has moved higher. I typically keep it down a little lower so that if people are watching in everywhere, they can see that. I try to make sure that that is not gonna hit my face. So we've got it there as well. Um, I'll be honest, I'm looking at this and thinking, oh, the color is really off on here. I don't know why, but whatever, I'm leaving it because I don't want to spend time doing that, okay? So now at this stage, what I want to do is I want to put a headline on. So one thing um, that I do have and I always recommend is that you don't just leave it as having your information there, that you put some sort of headline on. So I have the headline ready in my Google Docs. So I'm gonna go back there and that's this cover headline. So I'm gonna copy those words. I'm gonna go back to Instagram and I'm gonna hit the A sign up in the top right, the A and the A, so I can add in some words. Um, let me paste them in here. I just click there, hit paste, and that becomes words that are going to go on the top of the video. So with this, I never like them on three lines. I always want them on two because I'm going to make them a headline that show on the cover image. When people are scrolling through, they can see this. If you have a headline like this on your reels, you tend to get more views because people understand what they're all about. And if you planned it, like I said, at the beginning, I planned, I started with a you know, a smile. So I know that I'm planning for having that cover image. I'm going to put this headline on and have me smiling. So it just, it just is easier to do and create. Again, I will hit the color button here. I typically put mine um, so that they stand out a little. I've actually got the wrong kind of font here that I typically want. Um, Oh, we've got some new fonts here. Okay, hold on. I'm going to go to my normal, which is not there anymore. I'm usually trying to get the background color on these. Um, I'm going to pull something out that stands out because I like the kind that has the headline in the back. Yeah, okay. Let's use this one because it stands out a little bit. I'm not happy with this at all, I will tell you. I'm gonna, there we go. I'm gonna change it this way. So now I've got this headline. I'm gonna now move it um, where I want it to be. So one thing I should have mentioned earlier, I also frame my face in my camera so that I have my head at about halfway so that I have space at the top for all the words, the captions and everything else. This one here, I typically turn a little um, bring it in a little, squeeze it in so that it's standing there. Um, people can read it, but it's not going to be there the whole time. If it was, you can see that the captions are going to go over it anyhow. We are going to fix it though. I am going to add my call to action. So in my Google Doc, I had the call to action as well. Listen for all the details at blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to copy that call to action. I'm going to go back to Instagram. I'm gonna add some more words. I'm gonna paste that in. I'm gonna make it change for what I want here. I definitely do not like that font for this. Um, here we go. And I'm gonna shrink it down using that. I'm using the arrow button on the, on the left there. Sorry, I should have explained that earlier. I'm using the arrow button so that I can get it again on two lines. This one, I'm done with that. This one I'm gonna put at the bottom. And see the line that's showing, that blue line that's showing there? You don't wanna put it below that, okay? So you kind of wanna keep it there. 
Um, I could put it up here as well, because I know it's not going to interfere with the captions because of where my head was. So either way, you can have it there. And you can make these any colors that you want, anything like that. That is perfectly fine. But what I don't want is right now, both of these words are going to stay on here for the entire video. I do not want that. I didn't really explain this in my, my um, podcast episode, but I'm going to tell you about it here. So I'm going to hit the bottom left edit video. And in here, you can see the different things that you have. You have your video. If you're going to add audio, you would put that, you would see that there. Then you can see my words. Can reels become a reality? My cover, my headline, and then the call to action. And then underneath that, the pink is all the captions. So I only want the reels to show at the very beginning, the headline. So I'm going to go over here and just literally when I see the yellow, I'm going to drag it to the left so that that headline is only going to show on for a couple of seconds. Okay. I'm going to do the opposite at the bottom one for the call to action. I'm going to drag it over to the right so that it only shows at the end. I usually show it for a few more seconds at the end than I do the headline. That's all the editing I do. Now I'm going to hit the arrow button and move on. That's it. We are ready for this. The thing that we don't have is the caption, but I have it already in Google Docs. So I'm going to go back over to Google Docs. I'm going to go down to my caption. I'm going to copy all of that. And this is why having it fully ready with emojis and everything is so critical to making this work as easy as possible. My fingers aren't working right here. Go down. I don't know why my scrolling is not working, but either way, we're getting them all here. And I capture everything that I want in there. Copy. And I come back over to Instagram and I'm going to paste it where it says, write your caption, paste it in there. The only thing I check here, sometimes I don't know why the spaces stay. Sometimes they don't. I like the spaces to stay where I pointedly had them. So I always scroll up to make sure on that. If I am done with that and I'm fine now, I'm going to hit OK. So everything is ready here at this stage. Um, the thing that hasn't happened is the very last thing we're going to do. And actually the final thing that I do as well. And I always forget to do this at this point here, I'm going to go back before I hit move along. If this was fully ready with the headline stopped at the beginning, the captions are on any audio that you have on there. And then your call to action at the end, I want you to click the image because now at this point, you see the download button up in the top left. Um, I'm going to just show you that on the screen here. So this download button, at this point, I download the video. I've saved it with all the edits, the caption, the headline, and the ending part. And, and if you used audio from Instagram, it won't save the audio here. But if you had your own, it would. Um, I don't worry about audio because audio is me talking. That's the whole point of these talking head videos, okay? So at this point, I'm saving it to my phone as is like this, so that if I want to use it elsewhere without having any um, watermarks on it or anything, although I think they've gotten out of the watermarks aspect of it, but now I've got the video fully saved, ready with the captions and the headline and the call to action. So at this point, I am fully ready to go through. I've got my caption on. Last thing we do is edit the cover. So this is where it can get tricky sometimes. You can see I got some sort of purse look on my face and it is at the end of the video. So what I do is typically wait for it to start up a bit and then I move to where I can see the headline um, and I sort of scroll back. Now I'm kind of looking funny there. Um, this At this point, it's not such a bad look on my face. Um, so at this point, I'm going to hit that's what I want for the cover on the reel. That's this button on the left. But now we want to go to the profile grid. And this is something a lot of people skip. Click over to the profile grid to make sure that wherever it is fits well when people see it on the square grid. Because if it looked like this, 
they're not going to see that headline you put in there. So that's part of the reason why I line up my face where I do taking the video so that I have the space above to put these headlines. But sometimes I still might need to adjust it. So then I would go around and adjust like that. If I feel that I want a little more smiley face for me, um, then I might go back here a little bit and adjust a little more and see what I can get. That's as good as I think I'm going to get with this one. Um, and so I've got it over here. And when I'm hit done, I'm done. At this point, you are ready to fully post this. So you can, at this point, save it as a draft and come back to it and post it when you want to, or you can just hit share. Um, you can't schedule this from here. So if you don't want it to go live at this point, that's when you would hit the save draft button and save it to come back to and post later on. And when you save it here, you've saved everything. You've saved the preview, the cover, you've saved the captions, you've saved the actual caption that's going to go in there. You saved the subtitle captions. I don't know why we call them both captions, but whatever. So you've got them all in there and they're all set up in the same way. So at this point, you can hit post or not. I'm actually going to save it as a draft um, because I just had, I have a certain time for this that it's going to go out and then we're going to save it and put it out there. So I know a certain time of the day on Tuesdays, I do these reels around 11 a.m. It's only quarter to 10 now. So I'm not going to do it because I'm actually posting this the day of, but I might've done this last week too. So it depends on when you set this up, but you can save it in the draft. So then when you come back to your Instagram, so I didn't post it. When you come back and the day and the time, you know, you want it to go live. So later today, I'm going to come back here. I'm going to hit the plus. I'm going to hit the reel and I'm going to click the draft button up here. And it actually said, it's, it's warning me. Do you want to continue? So I could with that last draft, or I could just hit the draft button. I'm going to hit continue. It will take me to that specific video. If I wanted to go and adjust anything here, like to be honest, I might want this to show a little longer so I can get a better smiley face. <laughs> that might be my only adjusting. I could do any of that here again. I can move, I can change the captions if I need to. I can come back to this edit cover and change that again if you need to. Again, this is something you have to typically let load up the edit cover part. Um, and I can see that my screen is kind of delaying the mode here. Um, it's not exactly following along now on the video, um, but what I'm going to do is sort of change it and set it so that I've got a good cover image. I'm happy with that. And when I'm all done and ready, then I would hit post. Um, so yeah, sorry, Zoom has delayed this screen sharing now. So I'm back to where I was earlier and we've got it going on here. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to just wait for it to catch up here. So if you needed to edit any of this, you could re-edit this, you know, the timing of your headline, of your call to action, whatever it might be. And then you come back to your final place where you're going to go. I'm going to hit save draft again and leave it at that um, because I'm going to come back later on and actually post this. So that is how you go through all of this and follow this five-step framework. Um, and put everything up and get it all saved and ready to go with your uh, reels. So again, talking head reels, I really find that they're the easiest kind that you can make happen um, because it's literally a matter of put your, you know, put your camera up in front of you, record 60 seconds of video. You're just taking the content from what you've already created in your newsletter, your blog. In my case, it's the podcast whatever it is you've got there, you've prepped everything because you're going to put social media content out anyhow. So this is just another piece that you prep and you get ready to go. And that is it. That's how we go through this. Um, I know this video, um, I'm not sure what time I started this today. I know this is probably, probably around 15, 20 minutes of me showing you and walking you through it all. But when you're actually doing it in the moment, it does not take a lot of time. Not when you have the captions ready, your script ready, you're all ready to go. Um, I literally make my little script on the post-it note the minute before I'm going to um, record because then I've got it in my head. I'll usually do a run through. I put my phone on timer 
run through it, make sure that I can say what I've got on the script on my little post-it and then go through it that way. Um, that way I've got one practice run before I do it live. And then typically it's just like the one I did today. I do it in one take. It did get me to a point, you know, I had to practice for that, but honestly, nowadays, I don't think there's very often that I will take more than one take to do it. Unless, like I said, I really mess up. Sometimes I mess up something and it's funny and I'll make fun of myself and I'll just still leave it in because that's life. That's who you are. So that is everything I wanted to share with you in this five-step framework to make your reels fast and easy, make them a reality, be able to do them consistently and not so complicated. If you are good with editing, there's definitely lots that you can do in that way. But if you're just getting into reels and you want to have some video of you out there, for me, talking head videos are the best kind to put out there. People get to hear your voice. They get to see you in action. They get to see your hand movements. They get to see how you look, how you smile, how you talk. And it really does help build the trust up. Doing a ton of reels and videos with trending audio where it's just you kind of doing motions. I've done them in the past. I've gotten lots of views, but they're not from my ideal clients. I don't get engagement from the ideal clients. They're there. I mean, definitely there for entertainment for sure. And you can always add that in to add some entertainment in, especially if that's your personality. But at a minimum, if you are going to put video into your marketing content, put the kind out there that really helps reach your ideal client, speaks to them, helps them with the problem, and they get to know you and build up that trust that is key in doing business with someone who offers service, who offers their expertise as what they're selling. I believe that's everything I wanted to cover in this video. So hopefully this all works. You can see everything you need to. Um, and if you want to go back, check the actual post out because you'll see that there um, on my Instagram profile as well and see it fully done and posted. But hopefully this helps you really figure out how you can do reels and videos fast and easy, simple as possible, so that it's not really a time suck for you and that you can get some good content out there that has you and your face talking to people. So this is Kathy Koliakovo signing off, saying thanks for listening in. And I hope this follow along video has helped you and will get you doing some more reels yourself. I would love to see some of your reels. So be sure to tag me on Instagram at pepper it marketing and let me know what ones you've done following this framework so that I can go over to them, check them out, like them, comment, whatever I can do to help you get some more traction on them. Have a fabulous day, everybody. I'll see you later. Thank you.